Money, money, money. Some have a little, some have a lot. People are striving for more. Many people think that you just can't have enough of it. Well, I'm here with personal finance expert and author of When She Makes More, Farnoosh Tarabi. How are you? So, congratulations. Thank you. Large and in charge. Yes, wow. How many months? Seven. Seven, wow. You look great. Thank you. So we're talking about money. I like this title, When Thank She you. Makes More, which is more and more common yes. now. What is it they're saying? One in five, approximately, women in marriages are making more than their spouses. Uh, it's four times greater than it was in the 60s. And if you factor in single moms who are the sole providers for their families, it's actually 40% of women are breadwinners in this country. So it's, it's the new reality. Okay. And right, the typical dynamic is that the man pays and then right. all these other dynamics fall into place. It's very complicated, it's very complex. I'm in this situation in my marriage and I needed new rules because you look at the statistics, you find that there's more divorce, more infidelity. She feels resentful, he feels emasculated. This is you know, what these couples are grappling with and there's really no prescription to how to make these relationships thrive, so that's why I wrote the book. Okay, so did you talk, so you were in this situation, you wrote it from personal yeah. experience uh, and you know, finances aren't usually very personal, so it's a weird it is. thing. We all come from different backgrounds when, it, when it's about money, you know, how we were raised, exactly. how uh, we were conditioned. Um, even biology impacts how, and gender impacts how you relate to money, how you think about money. More and more emotional, so. Sometimes, yes. and um, we often don't communicate these emotions, and so what happens is that we sort of live in various relationships, whether you're married, or you have a business partner, or two sisters, there's a lot of unspoken issues around money. We come from different perspectives and it can blow up and I've seen it and much of my work now, I started in personal finance, but a lot of it now is helping people in various relationships find common ground when it comes to money.